After several months of waiting, Tesla finally deployed its long-awaited FSD beta button last Friday night, enabling customers to request access to its full self-driving beta software version 10.1. This has opened up the automaker's door for a wide release of its most advanced driver assistance suite, FSD Beta 10.1, by the end of this month. It also signals that thousands of drivers who already purchased the FSD package will soon hit the road with the unregulated and largely untested features. Tesla's move to deploy its request full self-driving button delighted Tesla fans and many more members of its fleet, but it risks drawing the ire of safety authorities who are already investigating at least 11 crashes involving Tesla's driver assistance systems. However, this should not worry you, because the automaker has introduced a safety score beta system that evaluates the driving behaviors and incentivizes safe driving. The wait has been long, with the tech mogul Elon Musk promising a wider release of the beta software for Tesla owners who purchased the FSD package, which currently costs $10,000 upfront or $199 per month, and who are yearning to test out the automaker's most advanced driver assist system to date. Just to give you a sense of how patient Tesla users have been waiting for the release, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk first promised that the long-awaited version of FSD would start rolling out in August of 2018, but it did not come to pass. In 2019, the CEO did it again, now proclaiming that the feature would be deployed to over a million Tesla cars. That also didn't happen. It was not until October last year that the company actually began shipping FSD version 9 to beta testers of its early access program. So to say that Tesla's ardent followers and car owners have been anticipating the rollout of the request FSD beta button for a while would be an understatement. Some FSD subscribers have even gotten sick of waiting and even sued the automaker for false advertising. The launch of Tesla's request FSD beta button has also been hit with several pushbacks. Originally intended for deployment some months ago, Tesla software update version 2021.32.22 was delayed until the 25th of September, when it started rolling out to customers. What you need to know is that this is the first time Tesla has allowed typical owners to upgrade to more self-driving features through a download button. While the name itself seems to bring a little confusion, Mr. Musk has noted that Tesla owners won't be able to receive the upgraded suite of advanced driver assistance features right away. According to Tesla, its FSD beta software 10.1 enables a Tesla to automatically navigate on highways or auto steer on city streets alongside other motorists, cyclists, and pedestrians without turning the steering on their own, change lanes, move into a parking spot, or drive itself from a parking lot. Moreover, the feature is capable of enabling lane centering, braking, and much more. While FSD beta software performs all these tasks, it is still considered a level 2 advanced driver assist system. In simple words, none of the automaker's advanced driver assistant systems make a vehicle fully autonomous, as it requires a driver to remain attentive at all times. Studies have revealed that this supervisory function can make it more difficult for drivers to stay attentive while driving, which can be risky. However, Tesla states that a driver is also legally required to keep both hands on the steering wheel and be ready to take control of the vehicle at any time. As we have also mentioned on numerous occasions, the automaker's use of the term full cell driving for a level 2 advanced driver assist system is sometimes misleading and falls short of what most automobile experts would agree actually defines a self-driving vehicle. However, Mr. Musk acknowledged last week on Twitter that now FSD beta software appears so good that it can give drivers a wrong impression that their cars are actually autonomous. By emphasizing 
the drivers do need to pay attention to driving. While the feature is engaged, it undercuts the company's marketing of its product as full cell driving, according to some experts. However, similar to previous FSD beta programs that Tesla had been deploying to its first batch of testers, the company reiterated the importance of being cautious while using the newly launched Tesla's Advanced Driver Assist system. To enable this, the company intends to use safety scores evaluation to determine which drivers will be allowed to access and utilize the FSD beta software and which would not. Tesla now has an insurance calculator which it uses to give drivers a safety score and determine who is eligible for the program. It let Tesla monitor their driving behavior using a suite of sensors and autopilot software installed on the vehicles. As highlighted by the automaker in the safety score guide, the company will use five different parameters to calculate your safety score. These are forward collision warnings per 1,000 miles, forced autopilot disengagement, aggressive turning, unsafe following, and hard braking. Drivers will be graded on a scale between 0 to 100 as per Tesla. Only those users whose driving behaviors will be deemed to be good or with a safety score of 80 or above for an entire week of driving will be granted access to the FSD beta software, according to Tesla's CEO. Only Tesla owners that have a safe driving record for seven days beta access will be granted, Mr. Musk said on Twitter. Interestingly enough, Tesla claims that drivers won't be able to transfer their safety scores from one car if they choose to purchase a new Tesla. This means that a Tesla's new owner or driver should not be affected by the safety scores of the previous owner. But that's not all. The automaker also requires that Tesla owners agree to certain terms and conditions before they can actually start using the software. For instance, the automaker has noted that drivers or owners must consent to the collection of vehicle identification number associated data while enrolled to FSD beta program. Recently, Tesla updated its autopilot software in its vehicles like Model 3 and Model Y. These two cars can now detect and slow down for an emergency vehicle. Tesla's software update 2021.24.12 also comes after the automaker revealed recently that it is planning to bring FSD driving visualizations into non-FSD cars. The rollout of FSD visualizations to non-FSD beta users is expected to begin next month in Europe. While at this time, the new system appears not to monitor and account for how consistently owners fail to keep both their hands on the steering wheel, how often they pay attention to driving while the autopilot is engaged, or how quickly they take over driving when required in all the situations. However, the company has effectively gamified safe driving, which would likely make the launch of the upcoming beta program smoother, but less likely to cause an accident. For this case, Tesla notes that owners must know that when driving while the FSD beta software is engaged, take responsibility for the remaining alerts with both hands on the wheel. The automaker's emphasis on safe driving with the rollout of the Request FSD Beta button and software update 2021.32.22 is justifiable. Also, as mentioned before, Tesla's autopilot and FSD software have been subjected to serious scrutiny and heavy criticism by top U.S. safety regulators, the National Transportation Safety Board and safety advocates. This was recently highlighted by Jennifer Hammondy, the new head of NTSB, who told the Wall Street Journal that Tesla should address basic safety issues with its software before it deploys the program to city streets and other areas. It has clearly misled numerous people to misuse and abuse technology. Hammondy criticized Tesla's autopilot feature. According to her, the software's name makes drivers and Tesla owners think their cars are autonomous when they are not. On Saturday, immediately after the rollout of the Request Full Cell Driving Beta feature, a tag block Tesla Roddy shared a Twitter post asking whether Tesla has a fair chance after the comments of the head of the National Transportation Safety Board. Mr. Musk noted 
The first FSD beta testers, approximately 2,000 users, have been using Tesla's advanced driver assistance system for the past year without causing any accident whatsoever. All the years, when a Tesla car crashed, critics would point their fingers at the company's FSD program. Now, as the program continues to expand with the recent release of the Request FSD Beta button, the automaker would arguably take all the past situations and experiences into consideration and ensure the safety record of its FSD program is as intact as possible. And now, check out this video shown on your screen for more recent Tesla news.